So now we're going to move on to our next rumorizer. Our rumorizee is, can you share your first name with us and let everybody know what grade you're in? And how is this, how is okay. uh, intervention impacted you? Okay. My name is Nyidra. Yes. I'm a junior. Okay, juniors. And the first time I came here, I think I was about to fight. Yeah. Yeah, the first time I came here, I was about to fight somebody. Everybody know me, I don't let nobody calm me down, like all that touch, don't touch me, don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. So, my principal, Miss Morris, they didn't care, you know. I feel like they didn't care, they went on my side or whatever, but it was my first time coming up in here. She calmed me down, which is surprising, because don't nobody calm me down. Who is she? Miss Harvey calmed uh, me down. Okay. Uh, and all her long talk, talks, and you know, I ain't know about that board over there either. I just thought it was right. Honestly. Can you get that board? A little bit about what she's talking about? That board over there, because you added your voice. You added your voice to that board. As all of you all here sitting here today, all of you all here today have added uh, value and your voices to that board. So, um, um, so yeah, can you share a little bit about what you gave to the board? My quote says, treat people how you want to be treated. Mm -hmm. So, which is right, you want to be treated like something, how you treat others. So, I wasn't mad at the person I was about to fight, I was more mad because, you know, they was on their side more than mine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was the first time I came up here. Room and time, all that, it, it seemed like it helped me. So, yeah, I thank her, and thank you for making it. Aw, yeah, you're a really big deal. Really big deal. Dr. Larry, let's everyone say, Dr. Larry, you're a really big deal. Dr. Dr. Larry, you're, you're a really, really big deal. deal. Yeah. And so if there was one part or one element, um, if I can ask you, Naidra, in your five I SECs, what one of, the, uh, of those uh, SECs, the social emotional competencies, do you feel has helped you best? Um... Self emotional. Yeah, the social emotional. Which which one of those? This, you got your self awareness, your self emotion, the emotional I'm part. You. Yeah, and so the self management. Yeah. 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 Yes. So so do you 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 identify with self management more? Yes. And what do you tell yourself today? So let's say for instance, if you had a, a situation or crisis, what's something that you've learned in terms of what's a healthy way to express what you think or how you feel? How would you do that now compared to before? Okay, so before I come to school, I, you know, I talk to myself. I don't care. Mirror, mirror on the wall, baby? No, not mirror, mirror. I just talk to myself. Okay. Like, Nigel, let's have a good day. Nigel, don't listen to these people. Nigel, don't do all that. Just have a good day. Do what you got to do. Yes. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. Snaps, everyone. Snaps. Really big deal. Really big deal. So we're going to move around and we're going to transition to another one of our young ladies if you can share exactly what rumor time has been like for you. And here's one of the things, the great part that I want to share about uh, uh, Trinity is that she's not one of our, um, thank you, your hands are so nice, uh, I'm going to let you say it loudly and proudly, um, is that she's not one of our caseload students, but she's been impacted by rumor time because she has transitioned in and out of the DIR um, just as a safe space. And so we set it up to allow the students in our building to be impacted by the culture and climate. Um, it impacts the culture and climate of our building. So she's been impacted, and I would like for you to share a little bit about how Rumor Time has uh, helped to bring some balance with, with yourself. I'm Trinity, I'm in the ninth grade. Uh, woman time has helped me because like it's my first, my very first time coming in here was because a student started attending the same school I attended, and me and the student we wasn't we weren't on um, like the talk, terms right we wasn't yeah. speaking terms. Um, she came here and she started some stuff, and me not knowing how to control my anger issues. I allowed her to get under my skin, and we almost fought. But I can't be here. Uh, Coach Lisa was actually the first person to come and get me. So speak, she, can you speak up a little bit so mm -hmm. they can hear you over on the other side? Coach Lisa was actually the first person to come in the classroom and prevent me from fighting the female. So she came and got me. I came up here, and she asked me what happened. 
and I just explained everything to her and like it may seem like she talked for hours upon hours upon hours that's only because you get bored but like the stuff that she really do be saying I take heed of it because I just think about like if I would have fought that girl I wouldn't have still been in school if I would have just took it for myself to handle the situation by myself I still wouldn't be in school so I just appreciate it so um, I want you to share a little bit about or just reflect what is it that you now recognize and understand about your behavioral imbalance that has brought you to balance by being impacted by rumor time? Um, I don't understand that uh, there's a time and place for everything and that not everything, I can't let, I can't allow everything to annoy me and I got to learn how to walk away and live past. Self-management. Self-management. I thank you all for using that word, Paula. And, and the self-management is something. That's and what she, that's, that's basically what she's saying is self-management. Self-management, self yeah. And so <laughs> we appreciate you sharing your feedback and, um, and what your experience has been. And, and, I, and, I, and I encourage you all just to kind of jump in and add your voice if you recognize, um, yeah, if you, could, if you recognize uh, something that has been a reflection and a part of your time out so to speak and those are that's your thoughts interactions mindset and emotions needing a break because i've extended that courtesy to each and every one of you all you have the right to do what ask for what help to ask for help and um so we can move on and transition to our next uh a rumor IZ, um who's with us here today he go to the dream yes you know that's something you've never seen him so so that's good because sometimes behavior recognizes behavior. Mm, that's an observation. So the great part about it is, is she hasn't seen your behavior expand anywhere. So that's guess what? He looks like a good skin, and that is your perception. Yeah, that's your rumor. So he looks like. Let's keep going with that. Let's keep going with that. Let's keep going with that. You said that he looks. Huh. He looks yeah, like a what? Like a, good kid. like a good kid. And so now, what did we just start right here, ladies a and gentlemen? A, a no, not a new rumor, but what a what? A rumor. Very good, uh, T. A, a rumor. So now, let's take the rumor that we had one of our rumorizees have in their observation of you. And now let's redirect that rumor for you to establish your new rumor. She said you look like a good kid, but have you always been that balance? No. No. Well, can you give your voice? Let's put on in here and add your voice to the to our dream table, our dream discussion. Dream team. Our dream team. All right. Mm -hmm. Snaps for the dream team. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get our, our interaction sound. Okay. All right. My name is Davion, and when I first came into the Rumorizing area, I didn't feel like, well, the first reason why I came here is because I was arguing with another kid, or like about to fight another kid. And during that time, I didn't think that I could trust anyone around me because I was so used to like always being alone or confined to myself and learn how to rely on just myself and never trust anyone else because nobody was really ever there for me besides mm -hmm. my immediate family, but that's not really the point. Well, I came here. No, every piece matters, and every point is a point. It's a part of your seed, so don't ever exclude. And remember, that's a part of you. Do ne never exclude your emotions, your thoughts, your interactions, mindset, emotions, because every piece matters. Is that what we say? So I can, I can, uh, we encourage you, everyone, we encourage you to continue sharing and don't ever think that what you're saying in this discussion is something that's obsolete or not important because we value you. And so everyone let the group say we we appreciate your sharing and your voice. We appreciate your sharing. We appreciate your sharing and your voice. Yeah. So can you please continue to cultivate your seed? I forgot what he was saying. <laughs> See? Here we go. So the reason why I came here was just for arguing with that student. And when I came in this room, I didn't think that I could even trust Mrs. Harvey. So she sat and talked to me and let me know that everyone wasn't really a bad person and that I can't rely on other people. 
So after a lot of training, I learned how to self-manage and choose my relationships better with other people. I learned that exactly what she said. Everyone was not a bad person, and I can actually rely on other people. Mm. Wow, that was nice. Thank you for sharing that. And so, what'd you see today? Oh, my turn. Say that again. What'd you say? It's my turn. You all ask something of me. How was your... <laughs> like the voice. Yeah, okay. so can say how was your experience rumorizing with us instead of us rumorizing with you? Wow. You know, um, I get emotional. Okay, please don't. I know. It's, uh, this has been a journey. I say permission to touch. Because I love you all. I love, please. I know. Yes, from the bottom of my heart. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's just, it's, it's me. This is my seed, my passion. Um, you know, I was blessed to be chosen to be you all's interventionist. Um, we have Dr. Larrier who wrote this entire practicum and this whole entire so she curriculum. Made, she made all of this up. She made all of this up. <laughs> we could just say dream. Uh, becoming a reality and she had dreams mm -hmm. and so when I interviewed she was on that panel and so I told her I would be your best interventionist I and said, she just, is she's awesome she's amazing thank you okay, I, have I think we need to get a snap for that one. Oh, thank you thank you yes dear okay what made you want to do this program? this program well to be honest what did you want to do one more time well, I love, I love talking, and if you all know, I'm a talker. And inspire some people. And inspire some people, I do. And, and you know, it's a part of, uh, you know, being a coach. Um, I love working with kids. I love working with families. And I always say that children never ask to be born. I don't think anyone at this table asked mommy and daddy to, to bear me into, into reality. <laughs> and so... Um, so this is my life passion. It's an inspirational tool that I have. Uh, God has blessed me and ordained me with a voice and an insight and an affinity for children. And so I wanted to become my best self. So I really made a commitment to honor the integrity of Rumor Time, this work. And once I learned the tools and the, um, the voice of application and the steps to bring this into existence so you all could be your best selves and to help you all with your emotional balance and your mental stability and um, and just making sure that you could just be on time in your lives. It became my personal, my, my personal commitment that I honored. And I love being impacted and being empowered by rumor time. Every time when I rumorize you all, I'm also being rumorized as well. And I feel like I discover and I learn more about you all, those, the, the different uh, resources that we have. Could you do me a favor, uh, Kiana? Can you just go over and bring the little platter there with all of the little tools there in there? Those were creative strategies, um, Vicki, mm -hmm. that I was able to create based out of a needs assessment, just the needs of our students. And um, mm -hmm. That one was, what do I tell you all when you have this one? What do you have? The world in your hands. You have the world in your hands. And so it's to, it's to help you to become a critical thinker because our lives are critical. We've experienced trauma. We've all had adversity. Um, we've all had adverse childhood experiences, including myself. And so when I can help you to be at your best self, if every single day we can spread one day of love, one day of of Can reseeding, I'm sorry, yes, reseeding um, your dream into reality, moving your imbalance to balance, then that's that's my life assignment. So being an interventionist is, is, is a life assignment of mine that I take personal, and that I can inspire your life to want to live longer, to want to behave better, to have balance, to have better relationships with your parents, with your significant others, with your academics, whatever your dreams might be, then 
let that be my my gift to the world. So this has been amazing for me to be able to share this space with you that you trust me, that you trust that I can add some value to your life. And it continues to inspire me every single day. So I thank each and every one of you. Yeah, okay, I, 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 I was hoping to hear that. Okay, what were you going to ask, Vivian? I was going to ask, did you, do you also use your mothering skills for a reason or is it like natural? Wow. Speak louder. Restate the question louder. I was asking, did she use her mothering skills for a reason or was it just natural? Well, that's a great question. Um, I never realized that it was my mothering affinity or my nurturing affinity that I utilize with you all, but it's just a natural instinct I have. Um, you know, being a parent, as some of you know of, of you all at some point in your lives will have that experience. There's not a manual that comes with that assignment. And um, like you said, the education is in my son's eyes right. when he looks at me. So when you leave every single day out of that house, He's trusting that you're leaving him for a purpose. Right. And it's your integrity to your motherhood that brings back what? Um, love. That brings back love. And, and, and that's a seed that you're now planting in him. So to answer your question, Davion, it's, uh, it's natural. It's nothing that's fake. There's nothing that I could have been trained. She could have trained my mother in affinity. But she has definitely added some tools and some uh, strategies to how I mother and also how I serve as an interventionist. So thank you for that question. This time Yes. So our next rumorizee who has been impacted by rumor time, could you share with us your name and your grade, your first name, please? Okay. Um, my name is Terrian. I'm in ninth grade and freshman. And I don't remember what happened the first time I came over here, but um, I had put a lot of myself to be heard. I used to talk quiet. Yes. Oh, yes. And, um, yes. Yes. For those of you all that know Terriana. Um, now I'm her and stuff. And we we were doing a book thing about what we were doing, a book about what was time? Yes, we were. Well, about what was time? We had a story to make. And I, yeah, I'm almost finished my book. I'm almost finished with my book. Yes, you're almost finished with your book, and your story was your own. And how did that st story impact your growth through rumor time, through your reflection, through recognizing, understanding, managing, and expressing that reflection? How has your story receded your behavior and your imbalance? Can you let us hear us all? The F, okay, the story was, it was a bad story. And it was still going on a while. Me doing the writing, it was still going on. But um, the story just now um, stopped. And um, doing the story, I was doing bad <coughs> things. And doing, like, when I was writing it, it was telling me the stuff could have been avoided. Yeah. Now that I look at it, it could all could have been avoided. I could have went somewhere else and did some good, positive things instead of the negative stuff I did. Me and my best friend. Yes. And so now you have declared a new what? A new rumor. Yeah. Let's all say that we have all declared a what? A, a new, new rumor. rumor. Yes. 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 Snap. Snap. That's a. <coughs> excuse me. And as you can all can see that we've all had an annual impact. You know, for this school year, from the time upon entry into the DIR until the time now for you to exit out at the end of the school year, we've all been impacted by rumor time. And so I just want to just take the time to say thank you. Rumor time.